Hello and welcome to the March edition of Some Arts, the Somerville Media Center Arts Calendar Show. I am happy to be joined with Emily Falsigno, who is a photographer. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? All right. I'm doing well. Yeah. And Heather Balchunas from the Somerville Arts Council. Hey, Dave. Hey, hey. how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Excellent. Yeah, we've had Nina on a few times on the show, but I think this is your first appearance on Some Arts. So I think so. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. So we're here to talk about a project called Visible Voices, which you describe as celebrating the unedited feminist story. So, uh, Emily, why don't you tell us what that means? It sounds fascinating. Thanks. Well, um, I started with a photo project where I incorporate handwriting. So that's where the visible voice comes from. So, um, and then since feminism has been um, highlighting white women lately, or forever, um, <laughs> we wanted to get more of a spectrum of voices sure. to um, include. And, and now actually, since if you ask a high schooler what feminism is, they'll say equality of all genders, obviously. Mm -hmm. But if you ask a baby boomer, they will say something different. Mm. Um, so now we are incorporating men and non-binary and trans people mm -hmm. um, to participate. Very nice. And so what, what is this participation going to be? I see some paper dolls here. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you asking the people uh, to do? Well, we're asking for people to share stories about um, battling gender norms, mm. um, you know, breaking through those battles and turning them into triumphs, um, and supportive gestures that people feel along the way or are giving to others in support of battling their gender norms mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and the you know the confines of gender yeah. that are imposed on people so um, yeah so we're asking people to just write down stories they don't have to participate you know if they just want to be in the in the supportive environment mm -hmm. a compassionate environment you're welcome to come and just hang out with us um, and then we have another workshop that we're planning where we're going to be including different voices. And, you know, it, I'm going to start over. That's fine. <laughs> yes, totally. We're, we're planning a workshop where we want um, all different genders to come in and learn about how um, feminism can be beneficial to a whole community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's and that's going to be the final once once the once it goes up um, into the window, which will be happening in um, in the, the first week mm -hmm. week and a half of, of a, like of March. This is kind of like the the mid workshop, which is more interactive as far as uh, uh, taking what we've learned from the paper dolls mm -hmm. and uh, inviting um, everyone to be able to kind of participate in this conversation. So. You mentioned the windows, Heather, mm -hmm. and uh, I should mention that this exhibit is going to take place in the Inside Out Gallery, mm -hmm. which is the window space uh, by the CVS and the Boston Sports Clubs in, uh, in Davis Square. Yes. Uh, and it's going to take place March and April? Yes, March and April, that, which is interesting because uh, originally it was going to be for the Women's History Month, which is March, mm -hmm. and then Emily informed me that it's also Black Women's History Month in April. Uh, so, which we thought it was, it's a perfect uh, kind of bookend of this particular project. So, um, and we wanted to kind of highlight these voices in this way. And uh, we thought it went, it was just a, a wonderful timing because Emily was available and um, it all just kind of worked out very well. Good, very, yeah. very serendipitous. Exactly. Sounds like. <laughs> Um, and Emily, what kind of stories are you are you getting so far from people? Well, we are getting like triumphs, like mm. um, traveling, traveling on your own, which is difficult for a woman. I, I personally have an issue with traveling by myself, just because of different levels of dangers that you might run into, and. Um, so one woman wrote about traveling to Utah and camping on her own, which I don't think I would ever do. <laughs> um, other people talk about 
Um, one that I love is I'm not just a mom. And, you know, I'm a friend, I'm an artist, I have all these different um, identities mm. that aren't always seen when you're out with your kids, whatever. Um, what else have we been getting? And there's been, um, there's been different uh, stories where people talk about the restaurant industry and uh, being sexually harassed and that and being, being a server, especially a female server, uh, you, your, like your tips are your wages. It's, 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 it's just a fact and you have to kind of smile and play nice and otherwise you're not gonna get tipped. Uh, so it's, it, you know, people were kind of exploring that. Um, and then some of the interesting things is also uh, the supportive gestures where people were talking about how they felt supported within their community of women, mm -hmm. uh, whether it was uh, friends, girlfriends, family. Um, there's this one woman um, who came from a, f a family of seven, uh, and they're all in their 60s now, and they're all sisters, and they all um, go on vacation. They all have this thing where they all go on vacation to like with each other. Mm. So that was um, also uh, something was that, you know, that felt very powerful or people who were responding to who their mentors were and some of their most powerful mentors were uh, other older women when they first started out in their careers. So that was something that was, uh, that seemed to be kind of like a, like a thread within th in some of the responses. And then there were others who just simply wanted to make statements about how we can kind of move forward, like mm -hmm. saving space for people, making, you know, making space, taking space and uh, giving space. So I think that was something that was um, both for men and for women, where sometimes they, if you're in the workplace, sometimes you, there's a struggle to feel supported and how can you support others? Uh, like in whatever gender that you are. So is the, so are so are you in a room full of men? Are you feeling supported? Are you feeling that you're getting space? Are you getting space from other women? So I think there was an exploration and a dialogue within the stories that we got from from that aspect mm. that was you know was really interesting to see. Mm. So And what are your hopes Emily of uh, what what are what outcomes do you hope come out of the project within the community? Like we, we were talking about the stories and um, the dialogue that hopefully this creates. Um, is that is that ultimately what you what you hope comes out of this? Yeah, I, the, on a basic level, I would just like people to start talking about mm. their experiences because at least in my life and in my family, people don't talk about problems necessarily um, or even with my photo project I, I talk about little things that pile up um, on a day-to-day -day basis that go ignored or you don't talk about it because nobody you th think from history your own history or whoever nobody's gonna listen to you or mm. they're not gonna believe you or you're they're gonna say oh you're being too sensitive but to illustrate that it really like puts it in your face and you're, oh, that happens to me. Oh, let's talk about this. Oh, that happens to you, uh, you know. Um, and so to even just get people talking is a first step and imagine like how much we could accomplish if, and I mean, just look at the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. like how much is being actually being accomplished um, by talking and bringing awareness to something. Very nice. And where can people, if they want to contribute to this project, where can they find these paper doll forms and more information about the project? Well, there's a couple locations uh, where we're going to be. Uh, we've had a few workshops already, and we've got, and, and obviously we already uh, gathered some really great responses. And now, uh, I think the next step is we're opening. You know, like you said, we're going to be opening up into the community to get uh, a f more far-reaching. Uh, responses, and we're going to be dropping some of these paper dolls at uh, the Somerville Public Library, uh, both the Central and the East Branch, and we're and you also can conveniently get them here at Somerville Media Center. <laughs>
Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, is there is there anything else that you want to plug about this event? Well, I think it's um, it's it's an ongoing conversation, mm. and I was just so intrigued with this project. Um, this has been on my mind uh, personally, mm. and it was just like it was, as you said, serendipity that that Emily and I came together. Um, the paper doll project, I was I was kind of was mulling in my mind for a little bit, and then Emily very conveniently emailed me like, "Hey, I would love to participate. Like, I would love to um, participate in the window." Mm. And like, oh, well, this is a very interesting idea that I think would be interesting to explore. And I went to her website, and in her words diary had such powerful images of women and how she's exploring this project and how it's evolved is just, I'm, I'm curious to see where it goes from here. Mm. And I think that's something, it's, it's, I mean, this isn't an end-all, be-all project. Um, it's, a ongoing, uh, it's an ongoing conversation and ongoing evolution. Um, and I do have to say that Emily is also working on a book within this project. And uh, to kind of, to kind of uh, collect these kind of ideas. So this is something that's going to be interesting to see how that kind of evolves. So it's as an artist and a photographer, it's um, and as a part of the Somerville creative community, it's uh, it's 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 kind of a testament to see what artists are doing on the political and uh, and uh, social landscape. And I and I think there's a lot of artists that feel engaged enough to respond to what's happening in current events. So and this is a small part of that particular project. Oh, very nice. So, and uh, we encourage people to go to SomervilleArtsCouncil.org mm -hmm. to find more information about this and to find out when the uh, workshop uh, will be held. Yes. And where it will be held. And also In Her Words Diary, too, as well. Yes. yes. What's your website? InHerWordsDiary.com. All right. Easy enough. <laughs> uh, well, I want to thank you both, Emily and Heather, for, for coming on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we encourage viewers to uh, share their stories if they if they want to at the the East Somerville Public Library and the Central Somerville Public Library branches, as well as Somerville Media Center, where you can uh, find more information about this project and get your own paper doll form. And we encourage you in March and April to also go to the Inside Out Gallery to see the results.